So, got Best of X Xbox and the Best of Game Showcase trailer. If we're gonna watch this one, it's 43 minutes long. Here we go. Uh, there's full pages. There we go. That's the stuff. Maintaining exit vector course. Steady till ready. Coordinates input. Plotting jump course. Guidance has converged. Oh great, the webcam fucked up. Or the frame. I shouldn't have touched it. Shit. Good enough. Starfield, eh? It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Crete. There we go. So it's kind of interesting. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. What's up, I turned them off for this stream because, uh, it's a reaction video. But I'm playing some SAR in the, in the uh, meantime here. Some solos. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> your heart, your soul. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet. I'm actually in console lobbies right now. <laughs> Playing on Xbox. Console lobby solos. Because I'm like paying like half attention. <laughs> they fill up though. As far as I've seen, it's been 60 to 64 people every time. Yeah. Thanks, Dada.
Holy crap, he just killed me. Oh, what does this guy look like Noose? Uh... After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. <laughs> As to what they Is that are, wind? what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we yeah, hopefully. Find, we can this, this game actually looks really cool, but it also... But I don't think I would play it. It's not something I'd play. It does look pretty cool, though. A game can be cool and also not something I would play, you know. The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for you, Starfield. Yeah. We take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out. Death. The path ahead may be dangerous. I mean, it just gets the third person game, but like, it actually does look Most really dope. Like some starship, starship troopers kind of shit. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity. Maybe I would give this a shot. This is a demo or something. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. Look beefy, can look fit. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. Spend three hours customizing my character. Says here you spend some Just to uh, find that I don't want to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> no. Optional traits, it does look cool. These come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games. And you can unlock new skills as you uh, level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them. Oh shit! There's a lot to this game. It's deep, eh? And there's deep crafting systems. It's on Game Pass, and it's technically free, right? True. I mean, I've got Game Pass for like the next three years or something like that. Already paid for, so. Yeah, if it's on Game Pass, I'd fuck with it. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. Fallout No Man's Sky True. And I never really played either of those games.
I watched somebody playing, I think it was Fallout 3 or 4 once. You can choose crew members. And they were like gathering and yes, you can mushrooms and herbs and stuff to make uh, like tonics and medicine or something, or to make drugs. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs from engines to shields to weapon systems. Because, yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. Shit. That's a flight simulator too? Crazy. experience it's like a flight simulator RPG adventure first-person shooter it's fucking Can't insane wait for all of you to experience the game thanks again for being with us today and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades especially on this game what the next game it's will been be an incredible journey for us making it but we know that's really only the beginning for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins and you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. What, like the map? Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. Maybe it is gonna be like No Man's Sky or whatever. But you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. Okay. And it's not just this planet. It's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls, to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over hmm. 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. Cool. It, it looks intense. It literally looks like a fucking AAA like movie. It's insane. Intense. 2023. That's quite a ways away. Oh shit, what's this? Is this a new game? Team Ninja. Who what is this guy doing? Oh shit. Bearer of the 
What is this, like another Ghost of Tsushima game? Did the last one like just come out? Nin is it ninja gated? Stop. <laughs> or is every ninja game just that? That'd be intense. That'd be so intense if they revived that IP. Whoa, whoa, long. Yeah, every ninja game is just ninja gated. The Messenger's Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> the Blade's Ninja Gaiden. Play it day one with Game Pass. Oh shit. There's a Ninja Gaiden game that came out on Wii U. I have it, I've never touched it. Allow me to reintroduce like myself. Is this Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> Grand Theft Ninja? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I just <laughs> hilarious. Oh my gosh, what is even happening? Oh my god, I ah, uh, too close. I'm Dan Greenwald, GM of Motorsport. I'm Chris Asaki, creative director at Turn Ten. Forza is known for its photo 20 noobs drop in the same place, the <laughs> including It'll myself. Ground up to showcase the Xbox Series X and S that lobby here in his Boston, I know, right? Like Dude, this is this is console lobbies, bro. This I'm in console lobbies right now, and it literally fills up with 64 made. noobs and like Dang. no computers. It's hilarious. We're excited to show you the all new. But it's fine because I'm a noob too. <laughs> Welcome to Maple Valley. <laughs> This track has been a fan favorite. That was since fucking the hilarious. <laughs> Everyone just dropped in the same fucking place right at the beginning. For the first time in Motorsport, fully dynamic time I'm gonna switch lobby with one person in 62 bots. That's what's up. Stunning <laughs> That's what's up. What you are seeing is an in ending gameplay demo. <laughs> hilarious. Presented using a single camera with no cuts. Let's Ugh. jump in with the M8. The, the grind is real. I'm, I'm getting to level 991 before this event, Double Experience Weekend event is over. This includes a 48 times improvement in the any cost. I don't even care. I'm getting there. Let's advance time of day here and look at the world details. Alpha. Everything you see is new and has been captured with photogrammetry and 3D material scans. Advanced <laughs> rendering and procedural generation techniques bring a new level of realism to the track. Look how many people just drop at the beginning in these lobbies. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Here you can see the beautiful fall colors of Maple Valley. The grass, literally rocks, hilarious. 3D vegetation, skies and clouds. Oh shit! I wasn't watching. A generational leap in beauty That's and okay. detail. <laughs> Let's advance time again. You are looking at our all-new dynamic time of day. This is a fundamental system to the new Forza. Yeah, I can show you an Xbox and lobby. Like weather, is available on every track. <laughs> These new simulation details add further depth, oh. drama, and dynamics to the racing funny. experience. In addition to our dynamic time of day, forward plus lighting and physically based lights 
come together Ooh, to a TTV guy. And immersion BBG in the DJ. World. Changes in the time of day also change GBG versus BBG. Let's go. BB. BB goal. Baby ghoul. affected by these track temp changes, rubbering in, and of course, weather. Let's head to the pits. We've added features that one players have been asking for. 62 bots. Tire oh, dude, that was a nice level. Multiple tire compounds and new depth in car building create the ultimate racing playset. Advanced materials and shaders paired with ray tracing bring out incredible detail in the gold heat wrap he left <laughs> and carbon fiber <laughs> he saw my level and he's like nope complex self reflection <laughs> is a place where ray tracing the graphics on all these new games is is fucking crazy though you got to admit is a racing reality in Forza Motorsport, oh, he came back. The car damage is reproduced down to the individual scratches on the bodywork. You can see here some of the new details in the directionality of damage, how the paint peels away at exposed and raised edges, in the wheel abrasions, and even in the dirt buildup. Using the power of the Xbox Series X and S consoles, Ray tracing makes everything feel more connected. Cars reflecting cool. on other cars. Cars reflect in their own mirrors. Cars reflect on other cars that reflect off of other cars and onto other reflections of cars. Just feel more natural, more real. We've got cars inside of cars, meta cars. We believe we've got fractals of cars. Of our overhaul physics. The beauty. So of many cars, tracks. cars on cars. Our new dynamic time of day. Advanced car damage. Happy cars, sad cars. On track. Cars. Leads to a generational leap in immersion. <laughs> cars that are ninjas. This Ninja cars. Goblin cars. Cars motorhomes. Cars trailer park. Cars. <laughs> car. We've got cars the movie. We've got talking cars. <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? No fucking way! Stop! It's li it's a lie! It it's not true! What the fuck? What? Look at all these enemies are new. None of these guys are the same. What? Look at the music. Oh shit! Look at the, what the fuck is this? No fucking way! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Look at all these guys. Oh, look at that! Oh my god! Would you look at it? What the fuck? Dude! No! When though? Wait, 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 what? This has nothing to do with Silk. It didn't say when! This isn't Silk Song. How dare it just like. What the fuck? Did it say anything at the end of that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. When? It doesn't even say when. Let me just rewatch that. I'm just gonna give that a rewatch real, real quick here. It doesn't even matter. It's still, it's still gonna come out in like 2027. If it did not say a release date, like what the fuck? Look at that. That's so cool, dude. Oh my god. What? Dude, what kind of fucking attack is that, bro? What the fuck? Dude, the mechanic is so sick. Oh my god, dude. Her movements are sick, man. What? 
That was so fucking sick. She's saying like airborne after like, of course she is. She's like hugging horizontally. What is going on, bro? Oh my god. What? Bro. Nothing, nothing's beaten that. Nothing's beaten that, man. I'm still like so like baffled. What? Fucking silk song, bro. Apparently, within the next twelve months. Oh my god, that's insane, bro. I'm gonna be playing the shit out of that game. Day one. I obviously. I can't fucking wait, man. That's so exciting. That's so fucking exciting. <laughs> what am I doing to your father? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Silk Song is coming out, yo! It's coming out! <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even, like, wrap my head around that last trailer to even comprehend this one. This looks cool. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just, like... I, I just, I don't even know. I just love Hollow Knight and I cannot wait for Silk Song. It's so exciting. Hope you're doing well this evening, Davey. Thanks for stopping by. Not too bad, that's good. Dead yes. have no mercy. Yeah, that game looks pretty badass, actually. Oh, it's Diablo! Why did I not... Why did I not see that coming? Because I was barely paying attention to it, I guess. Diablo 4, that's crazy, man. Maybe I'll actually try that one. Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG. Melding, monster slaying... I was considering and trying the mobile one, but on PC. Maybe I'll just play that for the faint four instead. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Maybe. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them. And with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. That commentator sounded Whoever very nervous. Whatever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. <laughs> it allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. He called the homies. <laughs> One of the really cool things about having an open world is the journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. But you might have a space that begins as a hostile area. But it's looking pretty badass. The evil in this place. Hey, look at that thing. Cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Sometimes it's a new town. Sometimes it's a new dungeon. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get, and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world, and then a local event will pop up, and you can choose to participate in it. 
or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen, collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's, it's epic. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. If you have an Xbox and your buddy has a PC, you're gonna be able to group up. Or you can play couch co-op. Two people on a couch can sit there and have a great experience. Yeah, see, that's that's something that that would be cool about this game, the uh, the social aspect. You could probably get a bunch of people who would be interested to play it with. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. If you're like really, really good. Like a couple of my friends got on like a huge like, Diablo 2 resurrected that. binge like six months ago. They wanted me to get it too. You basically become a I threw it on my wish list, waited for a sale, and then the sale came and I never got it. I just, I don't know. I'm, I was too consumed by other games. But I was the thinking about it. The mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful. Whether it's new items or new dungeons or new paragon boards, every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. And we are so close. I want that egg launcher. Just missed him out of range. For Hugo. He's not dead yet. Is. Uh. The macula's not just in Hugo's blood. It concerns everybody. And it can change everything. No! Ah! Ah! No, 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 oh, flesh. Remember, no more killing soldiers. What is no this? More killing Thank you. I appreciate the lurk. GG. Look out. There's a killer around here. One of our men has been murdered. Oh, it's that rat game? Look <laughs> Maybe it's a completely new IP. See, they're nothing, nothing to be scared of. You are not them. What is wrong with me? You go. Do it quick. A plague tale requiem. I feel like a plague tale is a thing that I'm just not aware of. My dad tells stories. Looks really cool though. War that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. I like Nobody that little bird. Their Earth, it's like a dodo. The creatures they sent along with us. Oh, is that like Ark or something? And here on Arat, every day is a fight to survive. Look at them rafters. Communicating. Oh shit! Always a bigger fish. To rock. But if anyone can tame this new world, we can. D is that Vin Diesel? <laughs> oh 
That is Ark. Tur Ark. <laughs> Ark 2. My friend said he was like really addicted to Ark for a while, and he spent like 30 hours straight building like a massive like house or something, and then a T-Rex just came and destroyed it all when he was like super tired. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrible. I see the future. Human. Machine. Was a huge part of that game because he loves that game. Oh, really? That's cool. Even the best. The lore. End. But a new one is right around the corner. Am I, I am your queen. Uh um... One punch is all Is this one of those like huge? Uh, it's like Overwatch or whatever. I don't know. I don't play it. <laughs> nice work, team. Keep it moving. Oh, it is. It, I, I see. I saw a little symbol on that robot chest. That's neat. Nah, it takes a team to tango. But guys, Hollow Knight Silk Song. <laughs> right? It's gonna be sick. No dark gun for the rat? Mm hmm. What a damn dark gun. Super Japanese Anime Simulator 5000. Whoa, what's going on? Persona Megami Tensei Arena Battle 365.2 days. Persona 5? <laughs> Persona 4 Battle Arena. I know that person, that's Joker right there. I know some of the Persona 4 characters, because I actually did play a bunch of, uh, like at least 40 hours of Blaze Blue cross tag battle. That was a fun game. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why did this guy just run? <laughs> Hilarious. Mm. Rumor has it something's off at the church. There's blood in the baptismal font, and pastor's gone missing. And my genius plan was to investigate it. Hi. Alone. Actually, Persona 3, 4, 5 or something coming to Xbox and PC. Oh, that's cool. Uh, of course. Don't stress, Layla. Yeah, because, like, they were on, uh, I think a, a lot of them are on Switch, and they're definitely on PlayStation. I didn't realize that, uh, they weren't on Xbox. But that's cool. What was that? It's on PC, yeah, fair enough. I would be down to play them. I actually have, um... 
Actually, I think it's, I'll have Shin Megami Tensei 5. I know they all take place in the same universe. Yeah, I have Shin Megami Tensei 5 on Switch, and I've never played it. I just have it. Because <laughs> I collect games. But. I'd like to at some point. Hmm. Just missing my tags. Is this meant to be silent? What's going on here? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Trashy movie vampires. These monsters blocked out the sun and pushed back all the water. Totally cut us off from the outside world. Gotta admit though, <laughs> Got him. to be stuck on an island full of vampires. I'm glad it's with y'all. Feelings mutual, I guess. Aw, thanks, Jacob. We've also got Remy, our engineer genius, and her little robot buddy. She needs you be born. Oh crap. Who's a good robot? Who's the best robot? <laughs> and our resident. Who the best robot? Some vampy games. Yours truly. I have these weird powers. This looks like some kind of like Borderland esque game. Borderlands esque. I bet the answers we need are inside those tourist traps turned fortresses. No Persona games on Switch. That's true. No, they no. There's some. Uh, there's Persona Five Arena or something like that is on Switch. Like one of Joker's games, spin-off games. Let's just get this done. I guess I could play Persona 5 straight up. It's on it's on like one of the uh the PlayStation Plus titles that you just get forever on PS5. So many games in my backlog that I gotta try. At least try, you know? Carnival Killers. <laughs> Carny Killers. <laughs> My cryptid hunter's intuition. Zombie Land 4. You're what? Dev, that's not a thing. Found some. <laughs> oh, now I simply must go in there. What is that? <laughs> Where does it go? Hmm. Some kind of collective consciousness. That's impossible. There's the movie theater. I used to come here all the time. Why'd they have to mess this up for me? <sighs> ah, shit. It's alive. It'll collapse any second. Run! You know what? I think the audio keeps cutting out because maybe it's like it got flagged. But I guess this is the last one in the video. There's gotta be a uh, cause this was the Xbox and Bethesda showcase, but there was a PC showcase today too, right? So out of all these games, definitely Hollow Knight here. Let's give that one another rewatch, just cause I freaking love it. Ugh. Ugh. Just listen to the music. Just listen to it. Oh. So sick. Dude. <laughs> Let's go. You better be able to pogo spikes. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. You definitely can. 
like, right here is where she's, like, pogoing, like, horizontally. It's weird. Let me get back there. Like, on this creature... Right here? Yeah, she's, like, attacking horizontally and, like, bouncing up. Okay, let me go check that again. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, this is so tight. Fuck yeah. Okay, well, I gotta figure out where this, uh, I, like, all game trailers for the PC gaming showcase is now. I speak now to those who heed a darker call. Mm. No, no, I'm not watching like a 72 hours one. Stream two days ago, Epic Games Summer Showcase. That was a thing? Hmm. Scorn. Let's see here. A reveal from Summer Game Fest in seven minutes. No, I, I watched that on stream the other day. Man, Silk Song though. Silk Song. Oh, good. Hmm. Okay. Is it literally that long though? Here, let me freaking give this a nice like. I gotta give this one a good, good old like. And uh, hmm, three hours. Maybe I can just like skim through it. Come on, they don't have annotations? Hmm. Starts in 30 minutes, okay, so I could just get like 30 minutes in. If you want to kill people in a video game, you don't want to be seen, you want to be able to get away, and you want to be able to deal a lot of damage really fast. The reason I was killing a lot of people in Manithal was because I was trying to recreate something that I'd seen in EverQuest. You saw them coming and you were scared. I mean, you didn't did not want to die to these people. I wanted that notoriety. I wanted to be feared. People had to come to me, and they didn't really have very many options of where they could go. I mean, it was literally a, a small dock that they had to walk across and get onto a boat that's a confined space. Menethil was just like the right combination of lack of guards and tricky spots that I could get away from people if I absolutely had to. And you kill people, you know, maybe 10 a day, mm. a day, and... I, I don't think I'm interested in that game. I'm so confused, Cadabra. like, there's no Cadabra. summarized videos out there for this one? Cadaver. Dead body. Next, we have a solution to the age-old problem of not having time to read and play video games. Just do both at the same time. Honestly. Yeah. Just yeah. stream and play video games at the same time. It's not easy. Just tie your shoes while jumping through hula hoops and you're on fire. of seriously fast SSD storage, both from a data, makes up the perfect support team. Whew, that is a whole lot of PC. But Mika, you may greedily wonder, what about the peripherals? Well, animal lovers, we got you covered. Because the Height Eclipse wireless headset comes in plus so vegan confused. leather trim. With vegan a leather, let's go. Competition grade 2.4 gigahertz connection. And you noisy typers are going to love the clicky clacky mechanical keyboard. That <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? RGB? Well, of course! The keyboard and mouse both light up like Atlantic City on a Saturday okay, night. Okay, neat. And yeah, you can turn it off so you can actually get some sleep. Yeah, let me try it here. Magic to the battlefield. You will have to master a combination of axe combat, flintlock, 
while your companion Enki uses his magical powers to disrupt enemies. We <laughs> Deal! Alternative <laughs> version of your very self. Uh, I like the art style to this. This looks kind of like uh, Tales of Iron. Just the art style. <gasps> oh, I saw this earlier, but uh, yeah. Cool. Look at this new mode, eh? Wind and Sar here. Literally. Well, I don't think it's a new mode. Eh? It's just like some tweaks to uh. Giant mole is on the loose. I love that Super Animal Royale was on the PC gaming showcase. That's what that's what's up. Cool. Impacted your approach to arm challenging to get a good frame rate in those massive multiplayer matches. So I'm curious what ex armor a forger and armor find themselves confronted by unfamiliar swimming. Morning. Oh, Sparrow. Hmm. This is a world to explore. This looks neat. <laughs> the running animations are kind of funny. Like it's like a nice TBS game. Cool. You just saw Demon School from Welsh developer Isbrid Games, and now it's time to take symbiotic relationships. Molly, 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 molly. Come on. What is this one? Laysara, Summit Kingdom. Hmm. What's that? Oh, is that that robot game again that they showed on the Xbox One? Well, what's this? <laughs> what's this? What's that? This looks kind of cool. Really cool, actually. I like games like this. Core Keeper. Oh! I think I actually, uh, saw something about this game before. That was the latest deal. It's a star. I think that might be on my wish list. Already. Cool. Well, I think that's it. Just wanted to get that on, uh, Go to the start. Make Stream sure there. Hydrated, replenish your potions and motion. Let's do it again. This is the first time. But before I spiral further into my thanks concerns, for stopping by, everyone. All right, one more time. You just saw Demon School. I'm just gonna grind some Sar off stream at this point. I'm pretty tired. Super hungover. <laughs> all right, peace, guys. All right, so now they're all rested up. Let's enjoy a slice. That's.